All right, we're back with another fun preset build. Uh, we're doing All the Earth by Vertical Church. So I already set the BPM at 107, and I'm just gonna send path one down to path two here. So that way we have both paths um, used up. Uh, first thing we're gonna add is a volume pedal. And I can control that with my foot here. Um, the lead player is playing a bass band. You can see it in the video. And I will add that here, Tweed Blues Normal. And all I'm gonna do is turn the drive up. I like to leave all the settings uh, as the defaults in these videos, just to kind of show that it doesn't take hours of tweaking to get good tones, because the models sound like the amps. So this will be our bass tone. Sounds like a bass man, if you've ever played one. The next thing we're gonna do is add a preamp, so this is gonna be, a lot of you might be familiar with the JHS Supervolt pedal. Um, it's basically a Supero preamp in a box. So you can do the same thing on Helix because we have this preamp section. So we're gonna add the Supero as a drive pedal. Um, and that's gonna be for that kind of choppy lead part. I'm gonna add a delay down here so that uh, we can play that part real fast. Transistor tape, it's gonna be eighth notes. Take this feedback and then mix down a little bit. So that's that sound. We're gonna add, we're gonna assign this to a foot switch here. So we'll just make that foot switch one. Then since the rhythm player is playing at AC15, which you can also see in the video, we're gonna need to switch between the amps. So I'm gonna assign this one to foot switch two and call it swap amps. And I'm gonna put the other amp down here just to because I think we'd run out of the um, DSP on the first one. So I'm gonna do amp cab, guitar, and I'm gonna do SXA15. Um, and I'm gonna apply, assign this one just to foot switch two. So now when I hit the foot switch, it switches between the two amps. And here's the AC15 sound without the Super O preamp on, obviously. <laughs> All right, we need a reverb. So let's just do the plate. You know, let's do hall, why not? Um, here's what we got. Let's take our high cut down. On this one, we're gonna assign a foot switch to change the settings on it. So we're gonna do controller assign, parameter decay. We'll do foot switch, let's go down so we don't get hit it accidentally. Foot switch 11. Minimum would be down here, maximum might be up here. Um, and then we're gonna go down to the mix too. So this will be to switch between like lead and rhythm um, for those big um, chord rakes on rhythm, you're gonna wanna have a higher delay or a higher reverb mix. So uh, same thing, foot switch 11. So that way I can hit the foot switch and change these parameters. Next we're gonna add a dotted eighth delay for those rake parts. And this one doesn't really matter in the parameters. I'll just use tape because I like that one. And it's gonna sound kind of like this. All right, next we're gonna add a huge reverb for the pad sound. <clears throat> we'll do stereo, we'll just do cave. That's fine. Turn the high cut down a little bit. Turn the mix up. And the trail's on. And we're gonna assign this to foot switch 10. And call it pad. And we do the same thing. We we'll do a, uh, a big delay on here. Do the mod chorus echo. And just turn the mix up a little bit. And the feedback up. <clears throat> like vibrato, I don't really like chorus on delays. And turn the trails on. Foot switch 10. Now those will turn on and off with the same foot switch and the tails will preserve. And it sounds like this.
That's about all the sounds we need. If you like this video, make sure and share it with your friends and leave a comment. If you comment a song request, I'll try and get to it. And uh, if my videos have helped convince you to sell all your gear and get a Helix, maybe consider throwing a donation my way. The link's in the description and it helps a lot. Thanks guys.